and hello and welcome to the Sharecast. Um, we're here at the Australian SharePoint Conference at the Hilton in Sydney and I'm with Alpan Shah. Uh, we're just talking a little bit about SharePoint, where it's going and um, we, we actually had a great time watching your keynote earlier on yesterday. But Alpan, tell us a little bit about yourself and your role and sure. what you're doing with the SharePoint mm -hmm. product team. Yeah, it's been great being at the Australian SharePoint Conference and uh, a little bit about myself. I'm the director of SharePoint Technical Product Management. I do a lot of the inbound uh, engineering feedback, so my team gets feedback to the engineering team on the next version. We also work with customers and partners for the in-market product. So for example, the last couple of years I've been working with the engineering team on SharePoint 2010. Like, what are, what's the feedback, what are the trends, um, how are customers using it? And now I'm working on helping customers and partners adopt SharePoint 2010 now that it's in market. Wow, so you're really in touch with customer needs. I, I, I think so. I mean, yeah. a lot of customers, so I'm in touch with well, uh, as many as I can be. I was really impressed. For me, when I saw your um, your keynote, you brought back the demo for me again. You know, you made Demo King. We saw some really amazing parts of SharePoint. And one of the bit that I personally loved was um, just the ability to use, to be able to update a SQL database via the SharePoint um, client, which to, to a lot of non-technical users, that was so exciting. Um, tell me a little bit about what some of your favorite features are. You know, you know they're, they're a lot, and, and I, if I play different hats, um, I have different features. So the first one, as an information worker, the feature I love the most is um, Word 2010 co-authoring. So oh, yeah. my team and I have been working on documents. We, I open up a Word document that's in SharePoint Workspace, backed by a SharePoint site. And then I can work on the document, my colleagues can work on a document, we know when we're working on a document, and it's all seamlessly integrated from Word to SharePoint, SharePoint Workspace, I can do it offline. So that's probably one of my favorite features. The other favorite feature of mine as an information worker is PowerPoint Broadcast. I used that the other day. Really? I loved it. Yeah. It's actually a service provided by Microsoft because I had it to. It is. Yeah. I had to authenticate. Um, so how does that work, and how many people are there, using it? Well, there are a lot of people using it. There, there are two ways to look at it. There's the consumer service that's actually offered through Live. That's yeah. actually backed. That's actually running SharePoint in right. the cloud. So you can actually go with the Live ID, and then I can go ahead and broadcast PowerPoint to you and anyone else, yeah. as many people as I want. So you imagine me. Uh, tweeting and say, hey guys, I'm going to go broadcast. I can tweet it, and then people can sign up through the browser, through the phone, whatever they want. Yep, yep. And yep. and you're and you're good. Because you issued so a link, and, and the best exactly. part for me was that you could actually like flip the PowerPoint, oh, have yeah. all the rich features of Office 2010 in browser. Absolutely, and and the phone. If you haven't seen it in the phone, it's it's absolutely phenomenal. Uh, and the the other side of that is for enterprises. So a lot of enterprises want those same type of features, but they want to host it internally. So for example, we have a PowerPoint broadcast service within Microsoft, and that runs on SharePoint 2010. So again, it's very seamless for end users, but it's all being powered on the server side by SharePoint 2010. I just think that was a brilliant feature. I did, that really moved me, the broadcast one, because it yeah. was just so easy to use. Uh, absolutely. It was great. Um, all right, so. Uh, the other audience, sorry. That's Come on, give user. me another one. Come on, give me I another would say, I would say on the IT uh, developer side, and again, this translates to end user goodness as well, is uh, business connectivity services. Uh -huh, the one that I you're... liked, the BCS. Yes. So one of the ways uh, end users use it is through external lists where they interact with the data, whether it's coming from SQL, Microsoft CRM, or SAP, or Siebel, you name it. Uh, they're interacting with the data just like a SharePoint. So they get a rewrite experience, they get to sort, they get to interact with their data in a very seamless way. I, I saw some real benefits for it in search as well. Like oh, imagine being able to look into you know, case management systems or CRM systems, all those kind of stuff, and actually bring that up via a search view instead of having to use different applications. Absolutely, it, it allows your data to be a lot more relevant uh, to information workers. And it has a really nice side effect where the data gets a lot cleaner, because <laughs> if more people could see it, assuming they have the right security, people will spend more time making sure it's accurate. Yeah, yeah, right? yeah. now your CIO can see the customer data. Wait, wait a minute, that's not how the sales opportunity looks.